In a civilized society, a personal grooming lax can result in a mortifying loss of station. So it behooves one to emanate the proper air. But with right guards posted, one gets maximum protection. And with a plethora of ambrosial aromatics, it is virtually impossible to pick up the wrong scent. Well, off to the foxes. Right guards posted. <laughs> Anything less will be uncivilized. <laughs> there you had it, man. Hey. You were right on it. Stop it, Ernie. Your voice change. Yeah. Like you think that's a bad tip or not? Well, how'd your voice change? What, I what got, age? I older, got older, man. Hey, but, hey but, Kenny, we need to do the whole segment like this. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> 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 we need to do the whole segment like this. Remember that? Remember that? Remember that? <laughs> I will say this, Chuck. That was, a, that was one of your... Best commercial. Remember this, that remember this one? Yeah. No, no, lower. That's when I first got here, right? No, Ernie. No, that was that was when you were a guest yeah, on yeah. Yeah. Reggie Miller's show. With me. No. With oh, me. on the guest side of the internet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, long, long, long time. I'm glad my voice changed. Kenny. Okay. Pacers and Bucks. Dame Lillard. Dame Lillard show. He was hot in the first half, Kenny. No Giannis. Of course, as uh, in case you're not aware, no Giannis in game one at least, and there's Pascal Siakam. Hey, well, you be tapping on your watch. It tapped back tonight. Oh, oh. oh it's tap, tap, Dang. tap, tap. Look at it. That's what you get for tapping on your watch. Oh. Don't, don't, break it. don't break character, Kenny. Ah. Here he goes again. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Hey, seriously. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Bobby Portis was great. Bobby Portis, 15 and 11 on the night, and now. Just watch Dane. Oh, purple and green. Mm. Man, third and a half. Miles Turner out there. Oh, don't go. back up. Oh. Mm. Oh, what you doing backing up with Dang. the house on fire? Then he started getting to the rim. Oh. Had them all up. He had 35 in the first half. Looked like he was going to go for 70 tonight. Well, Indiana had 42 as a wow. team in the first half. And one. Up 69-42 at the half. Third quarter, Indiana outscores them 29 to 14. Yeah, see, I can play well. Tyrese Halliburton with the swipe. That second half, Indiana Pacers team, that's, well, that's the team I expected right for the whole game. They that's gotta play like right that there, for four quarters. Hey, so a 12-point game going to the fourth quarter. But it's too late oh. now. Everybody's got their confidence. Even though they got it closed, but the, everybody's got their confidence. Look at the way Beasley hollering for it in the corner. Hell of a pass by Pat Beverly in yeah. rhythm. And you know, and I think Chris Middleton. Don't forget Chris Ooh. Middleton, 23 and 10. Yeah. Oh, that watch the dunk, right? Oh, that's how he's dunk on you, Chuck. Uh, what's 11 and 4 Damn. for Brooke Lopez on the night. The Milwaukee Bucks hold the Indiana Pacers to a season low 94 just the second time all season Indiana scored under 100 and they've lost 10 straight postseason games the wow that's game. a, that's a, almost impossible 109 to 94 35 from Lillard 23 from Middleton uh, we need some yakety yak yakety yak yeah. the last two years not being in the playoffs it was um, you know it sucked Early vacations. Last year I was I went to Coachella. Like I ain't never been able to go to Coachella. Like it's just playing in the playoffs every year. Just having that that long summer, it was like, man, I was I was over that. But being able to be in a, a playoff series on a you know, a championship team and a championship organization, knowing that we got an opportunity for it, you know, I think that was the thing that I was looking forward to most. In my mind and in my heart, I was just like, man, I can't come this far and not at least try to, you know, put everything into it and put my best foot forward. His confidence is literally unshakable. He's got that prize fighter like mentality. It was almost like he was training for the fight. And then when the bell rings, he seems to be ready. Uh, that's, that's his mentality. And that's how he plays. Kenny, what would this mean to you if you were a Milwaukee Buck and you win this game without Giannis against a team that's beaten you four times out of five this year? Um, I would have been I would have been confident going in only because of the style of play. They play an up and down game. Um, that I knew earlier. I said this is the type of game that Dame Lillard would be super aggressive in because he's going to get multiple opportunities. The floor is spread. Uh, Middleton would be able to get them. But more importantly, shout out to Giannis Haslam. It was working NBA TV. He said, Kenny, before the game, said the one thing about not having Giannis is Portis is, is a skilled and they score from different areas when he's on the floor. So watch for the openness of the floor. So 
all of those things said and Indiana I do think that they shoot too quickly you can you can play fast but you can't shoot quickly and I think that could be a detriment to them in the playoffs which it doesn't happen in a regular season where when you, you, you your rotation shortens in, a, in, a, in the regular in the playoffs so you don't have to play eight guys where in the, in the playoffs I mean regular season you play 10 so you get to have matchup mismatches a lot of places and in the playoffs you don't and I just think they shoot too quickly even though they play fast second fastest pace in the league this year as a matter of fact yes and, and Ernie uh, this may sound crazy but a lot of times when you don't have your your best player the other guys get in a better rhythm because they touch the ball you know, Bobby Port's not used to taking 20 shots when Giannis is out there, but because he's not out there, he's going to be a factor. Uh, you know, the other guy's going to be a factor. They get more touches. And in the playoff situation, when you can touch the ball, you're at home, you definitely get into the game. What do you fix if you're Rick Carlisle? Well, it's too late to fix it. No, they, we're going into game two. No, you can't fix it. No, they that's, they the team they are. Ernie, ain't no fixes in the playoffs. It's called no, adjustments. There's no adjustments that you make going no, into they, game No, they, they try to outscore you. They're not going to become a great defensive team uh, now. Like, they, the way they play the second half, they're going to try to outscore you. You know, Kenny's point about taking shots. They're not going to slow the pace down. You said they're the second fastest team. They play. They, they, you know, we always talk about what style are they. They're going to try to outscore you. You know, me and Shaq had the disagreement earlier about defense. I says, he says, they don't have to be good defensively. But they have to be, you know, spot. timely stops. Yeah, but timely but stops. you you can't have timely stop if you don't have good habit turning. You just like like you say, Rick Carlisle can say, well, this is how we gonna play defense now. I'm like, well, coach, we ain't worked on that for 82 games. And about we ain't gonna have it by Wednesday. It's a so so the, so so they, they they the way they play the second half, they got to outscore you. That's their style. That's that. You know, like I say, ain't no changes at this stage of the game. They're they're one of the best offensive teams in the league. They just go, they just gonna have to play better. Get, I thought tonight. I said I said yesterday when I watched Orlando play, and when I watched the Pacers play, they you got to raise your intensity. You do have to raise your intensity, but you're not gonna change your style. I, I would and, I would add this. Yeah. Ernie, if, if there would be an adjustment, I would I would go through Pascal Siakam more. Because he does slow the game down indirectly, because he, he he catches on the elbow, he surveys the floor. So when we're playing fast, go ahead, we play fast, but at times we're gonna throw it to Sok Siakam on the elbow just to make sure that the other team doesn't get an offensive rhythm. He this had a, a, a career mislead. playoff high 36. Yeah, Ernie, but another another one this point. Make a mislead. They're yeah, not gonna yeah, shoot the, 20 the, 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 the one problem is that I do agree with Kenny. When you t when you play at a real fast pace. It looks great when it's working. But if you're not getting stops and not making shots, that's what you saw in the first half tonight. You can't have both. You can't play fast to excuse me a couple things. You can't play fast, miss shots and not play defense. And that's what happened in the first half. Second half they made shots and it was a pretty good game. Only 40 points in the paint for Indiana, a team that led the league with 58 a game during the regular season. Uh, when we come back, we have more highlights. Uh, the Celtics rolling in Boston over the heat. Chuck in the uncut version of that uh, Gillette commercial. <laughs> the horse died. Hey. Stop, man. The horse died. Come on.